Howdy doody. I just heard something. Am I getting a package? No. Hmm, weird. Very weird. Hello, hello. It is Tuesday. Today's the first day back from from holiday break, and I am making broccoli cheddar soup. So I thought I would take you guys along for the ride and show you my new blender. And yes, I did ask for a blender for Christmas. I gave in and I decided I needed it. And I've been using it every single day with my fresh juices for the kids. Today's gonna be my first time using it for soup, so I just wanna show you guys what I'm going to do and hopefully it tastes good because that would be kind of embarrassing if it didn't. So let me show you what I got going on. So I have my broccoli steaming away. That's actually my Pampered Chef steaming basket that I got. How cool is that? I actually think it's done now. So here we go. Let me show you my new blender. It is the KitchenAid ProLine Series. It's the one with the thermal control jar. Oh my gosh, this guy is no joke. It's, they said it's the strongest motor out there in all of the mixers. And uh, William Sonoma was actually having a bit of a sale. So I told Nick, I gotta have it. Like it's something I've been thinking about. Originally I had the Vitamix, but it's basically the same exact concept, the same exact thing, except this one has a better motor. So I thought, why not? It has a cleaning mode, it self cleans. So after you use it, you just give it a rinse out, put uh, a little bit of soap in there, some water and put it back on and it blends. I'll show you guys how I do it um, on the cleaning mode. There is a juicing mode um, or smoothie mode, I guess I should say. And there's a soup mode. And today's gonna be my first time using it. And I'm very excited. So let's get started. I'm gonna add the broccoli first. But I'll use tongs. I'm like, how am I gonna get the broccoli out? Hello? Hello? Okay, you guys ready? Are you ready for this? Hopefully this tastes good. Okay, let me put the broccoli. It's nice and steamed. You want it hot because if when you put hot items, hot food products into the blender, that's actually going to keep the heat. Um, if you could also make ice cream and you do that by putting cold items in there. How awesome is this? Hopefully I don't wake up the baby because he's actually napping. That's why it's so quiet here and nice. I got to think of a lot of broccoli recipes. I'm going to do a broccoli quiche. I just got to get a puff pastry because I am not a baker to be making my own. But I got a big thing of broccoli from Costco. So I want to take advantage of that. So I am adding, so that was one and a half cups of broccoli with one cup of milk. You can use low fat milk. You can use skim milk. I am using organic whole milk. And then I have a half a cup of cheddar and two tablespoons or so of onion. And then it asks for one of those chicken bouillon cubes. It says to put a half, the recipe that I'm following, it says to put a half of a bouillon cube in, but I don't have the cube, but I do have bouillon powder. So I'm just gonna eye it because that's how I operate. I don't actually measure things out completely. <laughs> I just kind of do it based on like the flavors that I like. So I always add like extra garlic um, let's see, extra onion, I'm more into savory, a little salt, okay, top is on, let's jam, so these are the settings here, oh, I'm gonna go to the soup, it's on, 
there is a little switch in the back so this way and thank god because i had it off and jackson reached up and turned this on see how it won't go on now so you actually have to hit the switch in the back first so that's actually the cleaning mode i'm still getting used to this okay there we go so it's soup like mixes and then juicers so it will break down apples oranges all the grind and stuff like that it's so smooth and amazing are you ready excited right now I'm so excited you guys smooth as could be like really delish 
And because it's thermal controlled, it's not hot at all. You do not feel anything. They do have another version without that, if you are interested. Oh my gosh, it smells amazing. Hopefully it tastes as good. Can you tell I'm obsessed with Williams-Sonoma? I got the bowls. Okay. Get my Himalayan salts. Okay, okay, you guys. How freaking cool is this? A little touch of salt. Isn't this awesome? I can't neglect my Ninja. I still have my Ninja, but to be honest with you, I don't really use that. I was using my Nutribullet for all my beach body shakes and stuff like that. This is awesome. Just tasting my finger. Oh, it's piping hot. You guys, this is awesome. And so easy. How easy was that? I chopped up an onion. I threw some cheddar cheese in a cup. Put, poured some milk. Took some broccoli and threw it in a steaming basket. And voila. I got a delicious lunch. And I have a lot left that Nick can have it tomorrow for work. Oh my God, it's good. Mm-mm-mm. And... I don't know how healthy it is. I mean, yeah, it's broccoli, but I did add full fat cheddar and full fat milk. Um, perhaps down the line, I will change that, but I do love me some cheese. Seriously, cheese all day, every day. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. So good. Okay, let me put the rest in a container that Nick can take to work tomorrow for lunch because that man loves himself some broccoli too. Um, and then I'm going to show you guys how easy it is to clean it. It's crazy town. Hey, Megan. Hey, Lindsay. So let me pour my soup into a container for him. He's going to love this. I keep telling him I'm going to make it. I'm going to make it. And then I wind up getting caught up with something. So this is how easy it is to make. And I'm so upset. I don't know if you guys saw this. Um, there's a shrimp recipe. It's a chopped shrimp dip topped. Hello. Not enough coffee. Chopped shrimp dip. And I got all the ingredients and I was going to do that today too. And it's so delicious. It's like a cheesy dip with chopped up shrimp and some lemon and cream cheese. And mm -hmm. But my whole bag of organic lemons was moldy okay i just bought it that ish pisses me off it happens to me all the time with fruits and veggies it's like if i don't use it immediately i don't care if i get it from whole foods or from stop and shop or from wherever shop right it doesn't make a difference if you don't use it immediately garbage that's why i love the summers when i have all my own veggies in my yard I need a greenhouse. That's what I need. So I can grow my own veggies throughout the year and not have to buy them anymore. Because you know, let me tell you, it'll save you a ton of money too. So let me just show you guys how to rinse. You take it. Hey, Teresa Murph. I just made my cheddar broccoli soup. Hold on. You take the container and you basically rinse it, right? Rinse, rinse, rinse. Like so easy. Then you're gonna put some water and some soap in there. Let me um for a second so I can put my soap in. And then I'll show you how simple it is to clean. Crazy town. Oh I gotta rinse the top too. Because the top gets all all this food left over up there and blending so fast. So you just rinse that out too. What's really neat is the screw top to it is actually a measuring cup. How cool is that? So this is my new favorite thing right now. And 
you guys are gonna love it. If you obviously you don't have to get the KitchenAid thing, if you do decide, there is Vitamix. Um, I don't really know of any others besides those two. That's definitely cheaper than the Vitamix. It, it's probably around the same thing. I think this one cost 600 but I got it on sale for 470 I told Nick, I'm like, there's a sale, go get it. This is what I want for Christmas. So, now I'm gonna clean it. So the last option here is the cleaning mode. Throw it over to cleaning, okay? And then you just hit start. Now I already have soap and water in there. That is it. So after that, you would just rinse it out, throw it in the dish drain and let it dry, and you're good to go. How simple is that? Like, honestly, I love things that make my life easier. As many of you know, like being a mom or just being a woman on the go, in general, you don't really have a lot of time to be making these big elaborate meals, right? And I mean, the majority of our cooking is in home, whether it's me or Nick. Nick loves to cook. He loves to smoke meat and stuff like that. He's always smoking something. Yesterday he smoked turkey legs and breasts. There's always something like really good happening here food-wise. Um, big things of sauce, big things of gravy. Oh, I gotta show you what I got him. One of his Christmas presents because we're all about like cooking and the kitchen and all our tools and stuff like that. He was so excited because he didn't see this one coming but I did get him an electric smoker because that's what he wanted. So you can kind of like set it and forget it. And then, I gotta draw in my blender. Whoop, don't fall over. Thank you, thank you. And then I got a mess. Look at this. Hold on, you ready for this? Look at the size of this stock pot. It's 20 quarts. Do you know how much sauce I can make in that? Look at this thing. I could fit my child in here. That's how big it is. Crazy. Amanda, look at this stock pot. And by the way, it's not as expensive as the regular Le Creuset collection because it's, um, it's steel, not ceramic. Their, their stock pots are made of steel, so you're not getting like hit over the head with a crazy amount of money. But it's so nice will be the first time we're making our sauce in there because we're doing meatball night a pasta night tomorrow because his aunt is going back to Cali and we're doing one last dinner together before she heads back so I hope you guys loved my broccoli cheddar presentation I am going to now enjoy my lunch and enjoy the peace and quiet while this baby sleeps and um, once I get some fresh lemons again, I'll show you guys my garlic and shrimp dip. You're going to love it. Bye, guys.